How do I customize the look of a light in Unreal Editor? By default, when you create a point light in Unreal Editor, it's going to come in at this basic white light, and that's generally not what you're going to need. To change this around, you need to select the light and open up its properties, which I'm going to do by pressing the F4 key. Underneath the light category, you'll find the light component category. And if you expand that, here are all of the various properties that you can change about this light. And we're only going to be focusing on a few because you don't always need to change every single one of these. First off, we have light color, which you'll notice down here. You can expand it and you have access to R, G, and B individually if you'd like. Or you have a little color bar where you can click on the uh, show generic browser button. But if you click on that, it doesn't actually show the generic browser. It gives you a color picker. And this is a nice intuitive way for you to choose a color. So if we want this to be like a pale green light, we could pull this down, say something about like so, and click OK. And now you'll notice the light is a pale green. So that's one way to customize your light. Another way would be to change its brightness, which you'll find up here underneath the brightness category. This has a spinner, so you can click up and down on it to increase or decrease the brightness. And the light is progressively getting dimmer while we click. But if you want to go a little bit faster, we could set this, say, to 0.2. And now you'll notice the light is extremely dim. Let's go ahead and brighten that back up to about 0.7. You might also find yourself wanting to change how far the light can affect other things. So we have the radius property. This controls how far out that light can reach. And if we were to zoom out away from the light, we can actually visualize this as a big 3D ringed sphere that radiates out from the light. Now, this is set to a default of 1024, as are all the lights that you'll create. So we could pull this down to, say, oh, I don't know, 128. And now if we zoom back into that room you'll notice that we're not even striking all of the walls, so we're only hitting just a little bit of the ceiling. Therefore, everything else is black, because once that light gets out to this sphere, it no longer exists. That light is gone. So let's go ahead and push this back up to, say, oh, I don't know, maybe 512. And now we're filling up that room, but we are dying out before we can get any further into uh, the hallway. Now, once you have all of this done, you'll want to, of course, rebuild all your lights. And let's close this out. And now we have just changed the look of this light so that we've adjusted its color, we've adjusted its radius, and its brightness. And that is how you can customize your simple lights in your scene. And that wraps up this How Do I video.